Okay, hello again, Bad Sweet 68 here, part 3 in my rebuild puppet tutorial. And we have got to the point we're gonna animate. I make our own animation. And just to. Excuse me. <coughs> just to clarify here about animations we're gonna put out this and as I told you before yeah that's not a good point maybe there, there. this is my movement speed and run speed and that's just the move it it's gonna move on the surface or wherever you got it connected to or lying on and that's the turn speed and these three you can keep because that's the movement when you move a stick how fast it's gonna move and all that it's not actually a procedural animation just a movement so these three we're gonna keep keep uh, yeah t you see walk speed run speed and turn speed and same here, acceleration and deacceleration, also useful because it's connected to this. Jump, stay same here because the actual jump is not procedural, but you're gonna get to uh, another point. So height, mini height is only used if you have an auto jump, which in or in another place. Actually, is it there? No, where is the auto jump? Is it there? No. Where are the auto jump? Have I moved it? Remember, it's it's uh, some new or things are new here since they put out VR so. No, where, where it is? Uh, yeah, it's the same place. Auto jump, and that, and the mini jump, as you saw before. <laughs> no, there, no, there. This is just uh, how high it would jump on auto jump, but we're not going to use that, so we can put that on. Well. And double jump height, it's a, if you wanted to maybe able the double jump, two quick presses on the jump button, so it gets higher, and you have to put it higher than that. And that could be a cool feature to have. So, And this is still not procedural, this is just a interaction move. Here you have gravity, and that affects uh, how the whole puppet moves, so this we can actually put down to at least 100, we're probably gonna have to reduce it a bit more because it's a cat and it shouldn't be so heavy as it is in volume. And this is how well it you can move the thing in the air with the sticks and all that, so that we can keep. Angle, slope, yeah, you see it here. I actually put this on again so you can see. Maximum angle so we can walk on before we start to slide. And this is a cat, they have pretty good grip, so it should probably be pretty high. And that's the friction. How much it's gonna slow down when you actually slide. Uh, gonna be but still, this is useful things we still can use, and that's why, you know, I said from the beginning and first start, why you should use a puppet because you have all these things, and these things you can still use, uh, even if you have your own animation. Uh, camera follow for sliding, yeah, it's a new thing because. People complain when I had a 
character slide down and that the uh, camera isn't, they didn't follow it, just stayed and jumped when it slid over. So this is a new feature. We're not gonna use it. Yes, uh, cats not gonna slide so much. And here you have a quick e e edit. And as you see, now I have no procedure. Well, run procedure is actually on. <laughs> yeah, you see, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> this is the pose it should have when it runs. Uh, that's not good. Uh, jump ascent. But this you can actually use because this is connected to these things we gonna use. So if you want to, you can use this. The idle, this is probably the idle pose when it's just standing. Walk. But walk you're not gonna use because we're gonna make an own animation for walk and also for jump. But we can use the ascent, apex, and descent even for a cat. Uh, run well I don't think we're gonna use that one because we're gonna use our own walk and yes my cat can I have a sprint button but I'm not gonna use that run but that's all one but if you want to turn things on off yeah here you have it on behavior There you have the uh, auto jump, but here down here you see procedural, procedural, yeah, if I can keep it there, procedural animator, animation, when procedural it, the animation, well, the puppet does act like breathing or looking. Most commonly, you turn this off and you edit your own animation or poses. But actually, the first one, breathing. Uh, that one you can keep, but this one we don't gonna keep. Procedure work, that's the one is built in a puppet. Very good work for humanoids, of course, but not good for a cat. So that we're gonna turn off. Procedure jump, well you saw the jump pose, uh, which, no it was a run pose, yes it was. But we're gonna use our own jump animation anyway so we turn that off but we can keep this because this your breath, breath what did it said let's see uh, does that make like breathing or looking yeah looking uh, you know basically when you have a puppet it's when you turn it it t tends to look at that way before and all that but that we're gonna tweak so it behaves more like a cat anyway so we can still use this this follow and turn to text just we put another thing but this is if you have it turned toward you and you had a tag then it turns and that's what uh, is included here so I'm not sure if we're gonna use it, but leave it on for now. Breathness is always cool to have. So it get out of breath and it has run the sprint and stuff. So we see that, we turn that off. And now we're talking animation. And I don't, I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, we can turn this off so we don't turn that actually. Accidentally, accidentally. I'm not gonna take whatever. Uh, what what do you call it? <laughs> Every step in the animation and stuff you can do in animation. There's a lot of things you can change and uh, tweak and adjust and all that. But for first, we're gonna use two timelines. Why two? You say. Well, we're actually gonna use a, a common trick that's uh, not really a trick, but things that could make things if easier. Because if you know a cat, or even a dog, I think, and some of our animals, they don't walk like this. 
Mr. Jumps would don't work one, 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 one because two sides follow. So first right, front and left, and then left, front and left, uh, front and back. You know, like that. Two, two, two legs, two, uh, one side at a, at a time. And that's why we're gonna animate one side. Because when it runs, it actually do this jump animation. So it's very useful to have one animation for one side. And it's uh, actually easier to, because when you put, you're gonna see this later, but if we put this animation on our own timeline, then we can adjust the coordination between the two sides. So, and just to simplify, we can make one red. And we call that right. We can actually no, name it. Yeah, this is I don't like. And you have moves. You have to write with the moves. I can't you use a button? Right. Uh, yeah, I don't know which one is L2, I don't forget, side, right side, <laughs> and of course it was wrong, well, now green is red, right side, <laughs> that's the left side, yeah, 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 doesn't matter, uh, left, you see, I actually have done this before, so I have one called left walk. But yeah, well, let's do left. Uh, what the hell? One should be L2 actually here, but... Nope. Well. Side. It's not easy to do is if moves I can tell you. Now left side. I actually have a keyboard but <laughs> you can't see it typing anyway with a headset on. Right side, left side. Well let's put them on the and <coughs> it's actually useful to do the same keyframes because you can compare each keyframe with the uh, other side so if you're gonna start doing this left side yeah I should probably move this up way 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 you're gonna do you're gonna fix this so we can look at it left side and probably we want the right side to be on this so we can turn around and stuff uh, this, we should probably move around a bit yeah like that just try to set this up so we can from different different sides like this something like that yeah that doesn't matter if I or the upper and I'm gonna do that like this and we begin with the left side this side I'm just gonna put one on one so it's That. And I don't maybe I don't sh maybe I do a time lapse or something because I don't think you have to actually see all movements. You get the idea and you make your own, own animation anyway. So, but we are in record mode. Yes, and now we're gonna start. Yeah, I don't know what I'm pointing at. <laughs> 
sorry. Uh, what? It's behave playhead. I'm not even near a playhead. What the hell? Have to check. Maybe I I am I'm wrong. I'm just gonna adjust things here. Like that. I don't. Why does it do that? I'm not in a playhead at all. Oh. Huh. Weird. Well, I have to scope in first. But this is annoying. I don't know what it. Actually, is it that one? No. Sorry, fast movement. Anyway, this is the starting pose, so the first keyframe is always, uh, no, we're gonna use the rotation, that's, let's see, it's R2, I think, on the right, no, 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 it doesn't, hmm. Oh, that's weird. Why did I get the green one? That? Or not on that? Because hmm. that's actually movement. Am I... That's... Yeah. Well... I don't know why I get these colors, it should be green now, but whatever. <laughs> no, why did you move? Hmm. Oh, this may be a, a new thing, because it should all be green and yellow. There are actually two things you can do when you move. Rotate or move and it's called damn it I don't remember it's two different keyframes <laughs> but to be just short we are gonna rotate things so we don't have to actually use the move and it should just be green but see somehow it just get yellow now instead I don't know why Nevertheless, we have record this st pose. Stop recording. Yeah, why don't I don't know what's happening with her moves here? That, and we're gonna do the same thing here. Yeah. And put one down there. Actually, I can use this to color red, so it's that it's the opposite one, right? And we're still in record mode, yes. We're gonna do this. So it records this dance as the first. That <coughs> and just gonna clone that. Yeah, doesn't matter how far apart and all that. And now we have it. But what is this? I don't get it. Why are you behaving like this? Weird. And now we're gonna record that. No, we're gonna record it. Now, you see, it's have the same. But remember now, this is where we have to figure out where in this stance is best to start the movement because you can't. I can't. 
yeah, it's very weird in VR now. This is actually not how I thought it should work because you see I can't get a puppet here for some reason. I have to get very close. <sighs> uh, yeah. Um, where else? Yeah, well, we got the stance, and we're gonna. Where are our movement gonna start? We can't start. Stopped. This is very mad. You see, I can't get this to a puppet. Uh, I don't know why it's stuck there. It's not even close. Stop doing this. And I can't move that. Iron Man, I reckon. <sighs> Stupid. Yeah, I guess I have to be really, really close. Huh? Never mind. Uh, yeah, where are we gonna start moving? Because we can't start. Whoops, out there. We're gonna look ridiculous when we start from a standing pose. So, my recommendation for this four leg anyway is to start the back movement. So, we're gonna. Take this, and that won't move at all. Hmm. Why doesn't that move? Yeah, it's because I had animation before. Yeah, you have to take them away. So, if we think it's gonna drag the leg right here, well, I guess I have to use moves because it don't take rotate keyframes. This, but you get the point. Uh, this, we have to take this back. But no, still the same problem. There you have. No, it doesn't want to move at all. Uh, maybe where from where? Yeah. And still gonna well something is weird here because we should actually yeah by the way <laughs> I haven't mentioned it oh something like that I think try to get an uh, approximately same distance so it looks. Good, and that should be also animated, like that. I haven't mentioned uh, the look of it. You see, we have no fur and all that, and it's maybe a bit wonky here. Should probably be uh, another sculpt there, and all, all these cosmetic things. But that you can add on even if you have animation. And the fur, it's just fur, so it's just in a way when you gonna try to move things but now we have a second keyframe for that and now I keep that and gonna do the same thing from this side Let's see if this, uh, this side it actually can work properly I don't know what happened there uh, we're gonna copy this uh, did I do it twice? No. That one. And edit that one. This. Remove this. You have learned. No. No. Why did it do that? Oh, I scoped out. Oh. Prop. Didn't know that. Uh, well, try to get it in. Uh, same nice this one. Well, actually it doesn't want to work. This is... Hmm. Well, I guess that's its max. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, 
Well, I should have, but that's a limitation that spooks me up. I don't think we can change that now, can we? If we close that, because this is Swiss animation. This limit is not going as it should. You see 55 I have this. Should actually go a few more there and maybe like that. I think. Now we can animate this. No, I took that one. No. Why is it scoped out all the time? Now we can take this. No, but it doesn't. <laughs> I get crazy by this. Now. Why doesn't it? You see, it isn't very, but not here. It's very confusing. Stop doing that. Something like this, I think, should be. And now you learn it's not easy to do in using moves. <laughs> no, we should more down like that. I learn you so much things. Uh, yeah, well, probably. Good enough, I should say. Yeah, I'm good with that. And the same here. Take off both animations. And we're gonna do the same here. Put that back there. That back there. And this down like that. Sorry if I, but I'm so used to now to do this from the floor level and all that. Uh, it's actually easier than do it in non VR, in that perspective that you actually can see things. But you see, now it's the same. So, done with that. And keep this on. I don't gonna show all this, but you get the picture. We do this until we get uh, same sides emulated at the same side, and uh, then we're gonna take off from the animation part two when we actually try to put it together so it looks cool and how we walk. This is the uh, animation gonna work together. So I'm gonna stop there and see you in the next part when we ha have animated this complete. And we're gonna put it together. Thanks for watching. See you.